Welcome to Brooklyn. Welcome to Williamsburg. And, uh, this video, I'm going to walk you through a very small but very, very wonderful Domino Park by John Williamsburg. Right on the East River. And obviously, as you can see, right next to the Williamsburg Bridge. From here, you get the classic BMW view in reverse. For those that uh, don't realise what that is, that's the Brooklyn, Manhattan and Williamsburg Bridge BMW view all in one shot. But obviously, when you're standing right next to the Williamsburg Bridge, you're going to get it in reverse. <laughs> As you'll see right now. So instead of BMW, it's WMB. Williamsburg, Manhattan Bridge, Brooklyn Bridge, Bridge beyond it. And I'll zoom in. And you also see Statue of Liberty. There you are. The view from here actually gives you an excellent view of how the skyscrapers. I mean, obviously, the more you go down towards Brooklyn Bridge, you see more of the downtown and lower Manhattan skyscrapers. But from here, you can clearly see them, obviously. One world trade there. But then, as you go from lower Manhattan, there's a huge gap of no skyscrapers until you get up into Midtown, where they all start again. The edge over there, the new one. Classic Empire State. Vanderbilt over Vanderbilt, sorry, Vanderbilt over there. That one on Central Park South. When we get a little further up here into the park, I'll show you another view. But this view gives you a classic view of the, the huge area between Lower Manhattan and Midtown where there's just no skyscrapers. This is Domino Park. As you can see, busy with dog people and that. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. It's already this busy. This here is a beach volleyball court. I don't know if that's it. <laughs> the sport better played in the summer. Because you're gonna get obviously you're loping the boots, jumping around, punching the ball around and stuff. And you're gonna get sweaty. But then it's on the beach. Wait. You know. It's all the uh, ironwork stuff still here. Yeah? This has kind of got a classic old Brooklyn and brand spanking new Brooklyn right next to each other. <laughs> you watch YouTube? How you doing? You got YouTube? Oh no, we're doing a... Uh... Hey, what's up? Uh, no, we're doing our morning workout. This is Japanese radio. Workout. Oh, right. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, UK, Newcastle, England. Newcastle, I was there. Really? For comedy. I, I played at the. I'm a stand-up comic. I played at. Ah. The, you have the club there called um, the Stand. Yes. So I did the Stand Glasgow, and then I went to the right. Stand Newcastle before uh, the pandemic. Yeah, I was just at uh, Porco on the Lower East Side the other night, Wednesday night at the comedy club. Nice. With Dom Delgado and them, you know. Oh. It was yeah. really, really good. Like. Okay. What's your name? Steve. Steve hey, Taylor. Ethan. 
Oh, Ethan, nice to meet you, man. Great to meet you. But that's this, this is a video from a YouTube channel, and that's the channel that'll be on if you don't mind being on it. I'd love to be on it. Excellent. Also, you can see me in that Netflix movie, uh, Red Notice, that really popular one. Right. I'm the, I'm the Egyptian billionaire. Ah, oh, right. Nice to meet. Yeah, right. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And you, man, and you. Are, you. are you in town for a while? I have been, but I, I've only got a couple of days left. So when I get home, I'll edit all my videos and My post them. The favorite thing about our interview, apart from meeting a wonderful guy from Newcastle, is that I get to skip the workout. Ah, well, so good. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> but uh, give it a give it a few weeks, and it'll be on that channel eventually. Oh, um, let me plug my album also. My album, which, which was number one on iTunes and, and and number one on Amazon right before the pandemic. It's called Thug Thug Jew. Thug Thug Jew, because those are sort of the kind of roles I get to play on TV. Right. It's, it comes out of one of my jokes. And um, yeah, check it out. It's a free special now on YouTube. It's on there. It's going right. to be on there. Go Newcastle. Yes. Sting. Uh, yes. Hi. <laughs> hey, good to meet you, man. Great to meet you. Have fun. <laughs> Excellent. Why not? Got the guy with a free plug. Not, not that many people have probably seen on my channel, like, but. Do you like little encounters like that, you know? Sometimes when you see someone look at the camera, you think, oh, but I just pointed away. Kids don't want to be on video or whatever. He's there giving a little dance in that way. Hey. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, aye. Sort of classic old Brooklyn. Then brand spanking new Brooklyn. A friend of mine who lives here in Brooklyn doesn't like all these these kind of new skyscrapers going up along the waterfront. You see some down the far end there. You can see them clearly down. It's only when they get round the, the bottom end of the Brooklyn Bridge. Doesn't like it, thinks it's spoiling, spoiling the whole look of Brooklyn. But hey, it's, as we said, we were talking about it that night. We're saying it's, it's gentrification for you, like. Or, or progress, you call it. This is the. Uh, let's go up a few steps. They've got like a little viewing platform. It's just very similar to what you've got here, to be honest, you know. Yeah, sort of the dog lovers area of the park. Down there. This is a big kind of play area here for kids and that. I'll just keep the camera pointed this way. It's a pretty small area, but it's, uh, it's very, very well kept. I saw this earlier. And I'm not 100% sure what it is. That's here. Uh, uh. I'm going to go around there and try to find out. Because there, there's another very small park just when you get to the end of Domino Park here. I'm pretty sure of that as well. Right, little mystery solved. Uh, there were cranes that used to load up ships, ships that used to come in. Obviously this has all been redeveloped since them days, like. But uh, they used to just uh, load up the ships and that. Should have realised that. It's pretty obvious now it's been pointed out to us. God. But that's anyway, that's Domino Park. And this is Grand Ferry Park. And yeah, right next door to it. It's dead, dead small. This is the area where ferries used to run from here in Williamsburg across it to Manhattan from 1800 to about 1918 I'll just quickly give you a little walk through it but again you know a little park like this it's just another example of um, what the locals have got to get away from like the streets, you know, and hustle and bustle for a little while, a nice little green area for them to come and enjoy.
But this is this is just a really really small area, like Grand Ferry Park. Actually, there's a plaque on this chimney over right here. I can read a bit of it. It just basically says between 1800 and 1918. Ah, which I've just been telling you. Ferries cross the East River from this location. Kind of pleased to still here. Yeah? You know, that would have been easy for them to kind of just knock something like that down, wouldn't it? And stay away. It's not in use anymore. Just get shot of it. I'm pleased to have it. It's good to keep stuff like that. See what, what everyone calls the Jenga building. Just peeping up over there. It's the World Trade Center. So there you are. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Beautiful little area here, right on the waterfront, Williamsburg. So if you find yourself over this neck of the woods, come and check it out. Thanks very much for watching. Much appreciated. And stay tuned for more videos.